The woman you. is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to commend my colleague from Minnesota for leading this effort since I came to Congress in 2013. I rise today joining my fellow Hoosiers seeking greater opportunity for all Americans, and I rise today to call for a swift end to attacks that is standing in the way of that opportunity. Back home, I hear from countless Hoosiers about the restrictions the medical device tax is placing on our life sciences industry, not only in Indiana, but across the country. This tax takes away the opportunities to innovate, to hire more people, and to, most importantly, to improve the patient access to critical technology. In Indiana, the life sciences industry is vitally important. It has a $59 billion impact on our economy and employs more than 56,000 people. And in fact, we're second, Indiana's second only to California in exports of life sciences products. My colleagues on both sides of the aisle know that the unfair medical device tax jeopardizes our competitive edge. It stunts our workforce opportunities, but most importantly, it is decreasing access to life-saving technology for people. Mr. Speaker, I want to stand for jobs, stand for improving people's health, and stand for more opportunity. And I'd like to urge my colleagues to repeal the medical device tax and yield back.